Are you here because you deleted your WhatsApp data by accident or because you switched to a brand new phone and need to transfer all of your messages over? If so, and then you're probably looking for the safest way of getting that job done. And right now, I will be showing you the best three methods of restoring your WhatsApp data, whether you went ahead and deleted it by accident, you just want to be able to bring it to your brand new phone. This will work whether you're on Android, iPhone, or even a Windows phone. And hi, my name is Francisco from Mobile Trans, and today we're going to cover the best methods of restoring your WhatsApp data. And I'll make sure to subscribe for even more and more tech tips and the latest reviews on the latest smartphones. But before we dive right into these, I'd like to explain how each method works, and then I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it all. So method number one is the easiest one, as it makes use of our trusty mobile trans software, which is going to make use of a previously made backup to restore your messages. It's just going to take one click in order to bring back all of your messages back into your phone. And method number two is a restore from an iCloud backup, so this will work directly from your smartphone and you don't need a PC at all. However, with method number three, you will require a computer of some sort, and we will be using iTunes for this method. So make sure that you've got your messages backed up through there as well. Uh, but please remember that doing it this way could actually result in your current data being overwritten, so make sure that you back up your device first. And I'll be showing you how to do that and this last method as well. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into method number one. Let's start off with method number one. So here, we're going to begin by showing you how to back up your device using our mobile trans software for future reference. And you can find the download link in the description in case you don't have the software installed already. And I'll go ahead and open up mobile trans on your computer and then click on WhatsApp transfer backup WhatsApp messages. And once your phone is connected and you've given the computer the proper permissions, then you can start the backup and you can find it in the list of backups all the way off to the side. If you ended up using mobile trans in order to back up all of your WhatsApp data, and then this is how you would transfer it back to your smartphone. So first thing that you would want to do is go ahead and, and click on transfer, WhatsApp transfer in particular, and then you're gonna click on restore to device. And then you're gonna go ahead, pick from these available backups. We're gonna pick from the one that we literally just did as we still want to keep those messages around. We go ahead and click on start. And then do keep into consideration that all of your data on WhatsApp is, is going to be overwritten. Hence why you're going to get this warning over here. So just go ahead and click on yes and then it is going to do its thing. So once this process is finally complete, you're gonna notice on your WhatsApp phone, you don't even have to unplug it or do anything else in order to see that all of your data has been securely backed up onto your, your WhatsApp phone. You're gonna see that everything is going to be right back to normal and that all of your messages and contacts that you had from your WhatsApp or just essentially all of your data from WhatsApp is going to be available immediately on your phone as soon as you take a look back. That is going to mark the end to method number one. Now let's go ahead and move forward with method number two. And then let's get into method number two. So before anything, you have to make sure that you've created a backup on your iPhone using iCloud. So go ahead and open WhatsApp and go to settings and then chats and chat backup. And go ahead and tap on backup now to have it backed up to iCloud. And then after re-downloading the WhatsApp application, go through the setup process and confirm your phone number and then just select restore chat history as soon as the option shows up in the setup process. And then just wait for it to finish and then you're finally good to go. You should be able to see all of your WhatsApp messages all the way down there. So just to confirm that everything went through adequately. And now we're gonna go ahead and move on to method number three. And all right then, so now we're gonna get started with method number three. And this is going to be our final method of the day. And this one's going to involve iTunes all throughout, which means that you are going to have to use a computer with it, whether it is a Mac or PC. It doesn't really matter as long as it can run iTunes. How about with that said, just make sure that your phone is properly plugged in and that you have given the proper permissions to your computer in order to access your iPhone's information properly. And then do make sure that you sync it with iTunes as well. The first thing that we're going to do, as I promised earlier, is actually go ahead and show you how to make a backup on iTunes and before we go ahead and restore any backup onto your iPhone. So let's go ahead 
and click on this computer and sad because as soon as you plug in your iPhone and you open up iTunes, this is what should be showing up. And if you see this menu, all that you have to do is just go over to where it says backups and then click on this computer to make sure that everything is saved locally. And then click on backup now. And it's going to back up absolutely everything through this process. And okay, so once this backup is already complete, all that you have to do in order to restore your data all the way back onto your iPhone is just go ahead and click on restore backup. And this is going to allow you to choose the most recent backup if you prefer or, or any other backup that you might already have on iTunes. In this case, we would pick iPhone 2 since this is going to be our most recent backup and then we would click on restore. Now do keep into consideration that if you do this, it is most likely going to erase all of your data on your iPhone and then just reinstate it this way. So keep that into consideration and make sure now that everything is actually properly backed up before you do try this and that you do indeed select the crack backup before you go ahead and move forward with this method. And with that said, that is essentially how method number three is going to be handled here. And there you go. These have been three very simple methods of restoring your WhatsApp messages to either a new phone or your old one where you may have deleted your data by accident. However, as you may have noticed, these all require you to have a backup somewhere, uh, whether it's on your computer or through iCloud or through iTunes. So please make sure to back up your data as often as possible so that you never truly lose it. And so that you always have a backup plan in case of anything going on. And now, have you ever lost your WhatsApp data? Go ahead and tell us your story below. We would love to hear from you. Also leave us any questions in regards to these methods. We will do our best uh, to help you out in any way we can. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to share it with others and then give us a thumbs up if you think we did a good job here. And this has been Francisco from Mobile Trans signing out. Have a good one.